now we are going to have exponential equations with unique solutions and uh, for the unique solutions we don't have specific method bases are different as you see here and the operation between them is not multiplication if it is multiplication then we have some solution methods for that one but for these kind of questions we don't have solution method on the solution method we are going to use trial method we are going to try for the x let's say is equal to zero is it going to satisfy or not x is it is it equal to zero x is it equal to one and we are going to see we are going to try and we are going to see if the solution is same or not here obvious it is 3 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is, if it's equal to 7 it means that x is equal to 1 for x is equal to 1 it's satisfying 3 to the power of 1 plus 4 to the power of 1 is going to be equal to 7 and uh, 7 is equal to 7 so it means that x is equal to dissatisfied and x is equal to 1 here the, for the second one 3 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x, I trade for 0, x is equal to 0, I trade and it's equal to and 3, 2 is equal to 5, it's going to be, how it is 2, 2 is equal to 1, pardon, 2 is equal to 1, if x is equal to 0, it's going to be uh, 3 to the power of 0 plus 4 to the power of 0, is it equal to 5 to the power of 0, and this is 1, 1, plus is equal to 1, 2 is equal to 1, no. So x is not equal to 0. We are going to continue like that, but we know 3 to the power of x, 4 to the power of x, especially Pythagorean theorems, we are using often this one. 3 squared plus 4 squared, we know it's equal to 5 squared. So 9 plus 16 is equal to 25, then 25 is equal to 25. This means that uh, x is equal to 2. Okay, for the next exercises or next type of questions, equations fx gx f is equal to fx hx, fx to the power of hx. Here we have four cases. The first case if fx is equal to 1, if fx is equal to minus 1, but we have one condition. We have to be careful about the powers because one of them is positive, one of them is negative, you know. They are not equal. Minus 1 to the power of 2 is it not equal to minus 1 to the power of 3. If fx is equal to 0, in this case, the powers cannot be negative because uh, then the denominator, uh, fx becomes denominator and denominator cannot be 0. And uh, the last one is gx, gx is equal to hx if the powers are equal. We are going to check these are all these cases for the first for these questions. I'm going to start with this question. I'm going to write first what is fx. First, fx is equal to fx is equal to x. Gx is equal to gx is equal to x plus four. And hx is equal to hx is equal to one. Now, if I try to check all the cases, case one, if we say here. Case 1, if fx is equal to 1. If fx is equal to 1 means x is equal to 1. This implies that x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, let's check the equation. x plus 4, pardon, x to the power of x plus 4. Is it equal to x? Let's see. 1 to the power of 1 plus 4. Is it equal to 1? 1 to the power of 5. Is it equal to 1? Is it equal to 1? 1 is it equal to 1? Yes. Actually, there is no need to ask this one at the last step. Yes, they are equal to each other. So left side is equal to right side. Uh, we are going to write in the solution set. If we say this is the solution set. In the solution set, we are going to add 1. Okay. Case 2. In case 2, Case two, if fx is equal to, if fx is equal to minus one, this means that fx is equal to x here. X is equal to, x is equal to minus one. Okay. And if fx is equal to minus one, it's going to be equal to here minus one to the power of minus one plus four 
is equal to minus 1 to the power of 1 which is equal to um, minus 1 to the power of 3 is it equal to minus 1 yes minus 1 is equal to minus 1 so x also is equal to minus 1 okay the case 3 case 3 case 3 case 3 if fx is equal to if fx is equal to 0 let's see 0 to the power of 0 plus 4 is it equal to 0 because the function is x to the power of x plus 4 and 0 to the power of 4 is it equal to 0 yes 0 is equal to 0 so fx is equal to 0 it means that x is equal to 0 in the solution set also we can write 0 okay the last one if if gx is equal to hx if gx is equal to hx if gx is equal to hx it means that x plus 4 the power here the power the power here it should be equal to this power which is not written here and it's equal to 1 we know okay x plus 4 is equal to 1 then x is equal to minus 3 it's going to be then we are going to try minus 3 to the power of minus 3 plus 4 is it equal to 1 to, uh, minus 3 to the power of 1 let's see minus 3 to the power of 1 is equal to minus 3 to the power of 1 so it's satisfied in this case x is equal to x is equal to minus 3 it's going to be x is equal to minus 3 it's going to be so the solution set is so the solution set is equal to 1 minus 1 0 and minus 3 yes for the b part 3x minus 4 to the power of 2x squared plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 4 to the power of 5x it's going to be here we should define first the fx is equal to what gx is equal to what if you remember gx and hx here it's going to be fx is equal to you know 3x minus 4 and gx is equal to 2x squared plus 2 it's going to be and hx is going to be equal to 5x so in case one we are if you remember i said we are going to divide into four case case one if fx is equal to if fx is equal to one if fx is equal to one it means that 3x minus 4 is equal to one 3x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 5 over 3 in this case we don't need to check because one to the power of something is going to be equal to uh, each other here 1 to the power of 5 1 to the power of 6 if it is 1 to the power of 5 is equal to 1 to the power of 6 there is no problem about that one but for the case 2 if fx is equal to if fx is equal to uh, minus 1 then both of the answers should be positive so uh, 3x minus 4 when it's equal to minus 1 3x it should be equal to 3x it should be equal to 3 and x should be equal to 1 then uh, if you replace x by 1 3 uh, two times 1 minus 4 to the power of 2 times 1 square plus 2 is equal to 3 times 1 minus 4 to the power of 5 times 1 we have to check this case and minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 2 minus 1 to the power of 4 that max is equal to minus 1 to the power of 5 that's equal to minus 1 to the power of here 
5 it's going to be and minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal not equal to minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 1 minus 1 to the power of 5 is equal to minus 1 that's why they are not equal to each other so fx cannot be equal to minus 1 so cannot be equal to 1 okay in case this was case 2 in case 3 case 3 we are going to check if fx is equal to if fx is equal to 0 if fx is equal to 0 it means that 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 and x is equal to uh, 5 over 5 over 4 now I'm going to check for 5 over 4 the power fx and gx is it f g 5 over 4 g 5 over 4 and h 5 over 4 5 over 4 are they greater than 0 or not okay we are checking now 5 over 4 it's equal to 2 times uh, 5 over 4 square plus 2 it is and it's obvious this this is positive and because square of it and this is also positive so this expression is greater than zero or uh, for this one here uh, for this one 3x minus 4 pardon uh, 5x hx is equal to 5x uh, 5 h 5 over 4 is equal to 5 times 5 over 4 it's obvious that this is greater than 0 also okay we finished case 1 case 2 and case 3 now the last one if 2x square case 4 case 4 gx is equal to gx is equal to hx case gx is equal to hx in this case 2x square plus 2 it should be equal to 5x and 2x square minus 5x plus 2 it should be equal to 0 2x square 2x and x we are going to factorize minus 2 and minus 1 or 1 minus 1 and minus 2 it can be yes uh, minus 1 and minus 2 it should be minus 1 and minus 2 it's going to be so 2 times 2x is equal to minus 4 x times minus 1 is equal to minus 2x and the results they are going to be equal to 0 uh, pardon minus 5x the sum is 2x minus 1 the factorization result it's going to be 2x minus 1 times times x minus 2 it should be equal to 0 so x1 is equal to 1 uh, over 2 and x2 is equal to 2 it's going to be if you don't have undefined problem for 1 over 2 and 2 we don't need to check because these are going to satisfy the ba uh, bases are going to be equal and the powers they are going to be equal to each other